Hello viewers, this is Bubbly Ash and welcome to my video blog ash.marinevistv.com. Hey viewers, every day I have something exciting for you. Even today I have something exciting. Uh, something exciting in the sense, uh, what is so special about August 7, 2009? I am sure every everyone knows it. Some hint, some idea, someone specially must have sent this message also for you all. Well, I'll not make it a suspense. I'll start off and I'll let you know what this uh, what this uh, special today is. Yesterday, I got this uh, message from one of my friends stating that it goes like on August 7, 2009 at 12 hour 34 minutes and 56 seconds, the time and date will be something like this. It will be 12, 34, 56, 0, 7, 0, 8, 0, 9. That means it comes like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 all together. Isn't it exciting? And it says that this will, will, it will never happen again in a life again. Such exciting thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 coming in one series. Well, that was an exciting information that I wanted to share with you all. So let's move on to the first update. The first update goes like this. Beijing stimulus package drives Tianjin port growth. The port of Tianjin, China experienced a growth in cargo and container volume in the first half of the year despite facing the global downturn and resulting explode sum. The second update, green light for Shenhua Energy to expand Hebei port. China Shenhua Energy has announced that its expansion of the Huanghua port has been approved by the National Development and Reform Commission that is NDRC. China's macroeconomy regulator. Upon the construction scheme of 50,000 ton coal shipment berth, a 310 meter dock, as well as related onshore and offshore facilities will be created in the Huanghu, Huanghua port, Hebei province, North China, and the annual shipment capacity is designed to be 13. Moving on to the further updates. It says that more vessels removed from active service. The number of idle container ships has increased in the last two weeks to 10% of the total world fleet as more vessels are removed from active service. Most of the vessels withdrawal withdrawals were by China Shipping Container Line CSCL. According to the AXS Alpha Liner Weekly Newsletter, a total of 520 ships are currently idle representing 1.28 million TEU. This comes after some 55,000 TEU of surplus capacity added to the carrier, carrier operated. That's all because of recession. Moving on to the another update, it says Jurong Shipyard secures US dollar 110 million conversion contract. It says Jurong Shipyard Singapore has secured a US dollar 110 million contract to convert a VLCC to an FPSO. The contract for the conversion of ODO, ODO that is OHDOH, -O ODO will be for will be for MODEC, M-O-D-E-C, MODEC Offshore Production Systems, Singapore and will involve the detailed engineering installation and integration of 18 top site modules as well as the installation of an external turret and power generation, accommodation, upgrading and extensive piping and extensive piping. The final update is like Panama Canal Port Everglades Alliance. It says the Panama Canal Authority ACP signed a memorandum of understanding with Port Everglades yesterday. It says ACP Administrator CEO Alberto Aliman Zubaita and Port Everglades Director Philip C. Allen signed the MOU during a ceremony held in Panama agreeing to encourage new business and trade between organizations. That's all I have for you today. Tomorrow also I'll come up with some exciting information and you can send your comments, feedback to me at ash.marinebistv.com. You can also share a whole lot of information with me so that I can pass on this information to the masses. Take care. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.